So welcome back everybody to week 37 of my reboot progression series. This episode is all about the black mage and you know how we're gonna conquer that fight. But it's also all about grinding because it's the grind week of the Vongsterrand event. It is mini haste. Runes give extra XP and yeah besides black mage practice sessions I'm gonna be grinding as much as I can because it is super worth. So anyways, I have a couple of practice sessions ahead of me here and I'm gonna chop them up for you to enjoy. Hopefully I'm gonna show many mistakes, so don't laugh. <laughs> Damn, I love this sound effect and the visuals are so nice. I didn't, I never played Maple with the sound. What, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> I can count if you want me to. But my party was more efficient if no one counted because it was just this Yeah. Party. Oh, take that form. Kick, two, three, four, let me actually stream so people can see. I die, that's perfect. Uh. Uh, so we just finished up another Black Mage practice session and... Yeah, we're getting closer, right? Closer to P4, but we haven't gotten to P4 yet, so... And I'm learning, yeah, but I need way more practice, I feel like. Maybe, maybe not, maybe, you know, it clicks in the next run. I know P3, you know, it's a, it's a little better now. Definitely P1 and P2 are, are easy or, you know, are way more manageable now, especially P2. I know 100% what to do. For P3, I'm not 100% sure yet. So, especially how I should utilize the platforms when they spawn, and you can get kicked on the platforms, but you want to still stand on the platforms because, you know, purples are a thing. If you haven't done Black Mage, you know, this does, this says nothing to you, I know, but I'm also, you know, not in the position to <laughs> explain anything here. Uh, you know, let me just, you know, shout this into the void. I'm, I'm practicing, right? And that's what I've been doing. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's time to claim the six star event rewards. I wanted to do this last episode, but I didn't have enough daily completions. But now is the time. So let's get into it. Yes, I wanted the chapter rewards i'll give you the completion box okay and now i guess i have everything in my inventory let's just double click that right and okay we claim everything immediately that's okay so how many <laughs> for me you know this is big because i finally get to max out my arcane symbol just, you know, by using the selector coupon here. So I'm missing, you know, let's open 300 for now. Or, no, I, I have to do it in way smaller chunks, right? Because I don't have so much inventory space. But 50 is okay. So 50. Alright. So 19. And now we are missing, what is that, 45, I think? So let's open 45. And that does it. Level 20 Arcana achieved. And I think together with the Wongsterrand uh, Arcane Power here, which I, I could level up, right? I am able to get to 1.1 times damage dealt on the Black Mage. Which is huge, right? It's just straight up 10% final damage. Okay, here we are on the Mercedes, which I'm trying to raw grind up all the way to 250 in new age, you know, to get that extra 1% of cooldown reduction online. 
and you know it has a rare ability so it's one candidate where we can use the legendary so wait can i claim these one by one no you can receive all of the following items can be transferred within the same world okay so yes ah oh, perfect so let's use the legendary circle later all right now for the main event the arcane umbra weapon box yes i want my arcane umbra dual bow guns um exchange please depending on you know whether i like this class a lot or not <laughs> uh, we're gonna see if this was the right decision to claim this on this character but i it has a level 10 <laughs> the, the upgrade was insane from level 10 to level 200 legendary potential and everything and the flame seems okay 50 attack i don't know if it gets much higher than that i imagine so right but <laughs> anyways this is pretty nuts from level 10 to level 200 do i really not have anything else what how did i grind this character up what Oh, it was burning. It had temporary stuff. That's how I grinded it up. All right. That makes much more sense. Okay. All right. It's another day and another Black Mage practice session. Again, with different people, right? But the main objective is get to P3 and practice it as much as I can. And don't crash. What the fuck was that? Spotty connection? What? No! Oh my god. Kick. Two, three, four. Rollings. Kick. Two, three, four. Where's after this? These rollings? Watch the kick. In five. Burst in five. Kick. Two, three, four. White turn right. Someone is crouching. Kick. Two, three, four. Watch the kick here. Kick. Two, three, four. Rollings. Kick, two, three, four. Kick, two, three, four. Kick, two, three, four. Kick, two. Switch to blackers, boys. Blackers, use the interact key to switch to blackers so that the thing around you is black. And then do not get hit by white things. You can get hit by black stuff, but make sure you do not get hit by the white things. The black balls will do no damage to you. As long as you're in black. The, the black ones are the ones that prevent you from healing, so the white ones don't matter too much. Uh, if you have party familiars, party healers, you can desync your familiars now. Do but I need to hit him at all here? Like, do my debuffs count for you or something? Uh, no. Okay, so I just dodge. You ba basically just have to dodge here. And my Bene can't hit you either or anything? No. Okay. Cool. So in this one you're on your own. That's nice. <laughs> He's like my <laughs> family whammies. Uh one thing to keep in mind in this phase. Uh, if you get a lot of wide balls coming your way, you can kind of stutter step to the left or to the right. The balls are going to follow your path. If you stutter step to the left or to the right, you can kind of kite them and slowly dodge all of them. I They'll see. all land like right behind you. Oh, I see, I see. Good one. So take things slow. Take things slow. Make sure you dodge all the white stuff and, and, and step slowly. Wait, I should be bursting. Oh, in this phase, by the way, uh, you just burst whenever. You can time your burst together with your party members so that you go through the shield uh, faster after an FMA, but you can just burst whenever. 
Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> the music, etc. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. This is kind of the, 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 the cool down phase. The phase that you get to after. Oh my fucking god, I'm dying. Ah! All right, it's Saturday and we are about to practice black mage again. It's also, you know, double miracle time for gloves, but you know, who cares, right? So, yeah, more black mage practice today. And I'm really in the mood to pop one of these black hearts here. I know uh, it's kind of a waste, but at the same time, I would li really like to have the July clear. I would really love to have it. And the black card helps, right? But I know at the same time, it's not only me that needs to perform well, everybody needs to perform well in order for us to get this clear, so... Uh, I don't know if I should pop it or not. I should have switched the, the jet over to Buccaneer already, but you know, now they've disabled it because it was buggy, who would have guessed, right? Uh, all right. <laughs> I think dark side with backstep is like so free. It's it's so good in uh, P3, P2 as well. I think I should attack more in P4 to get the over overheal shield. Yes. But I <laughs> I'm so confused on how close I need to stand to this guy. You don't have to be that uh, close at all. Yeah, like you if you can... look at my screen, if you look at my screen right now, if you can. Uh, no, sorry, <laughs> like, I can't. Oh, that's fair, so that's if, fair. If you're on the, if you're on the left side of him, and let's say he's in the middle, and you have your portal to the left of you, like, if you stand, like, in the middle of that, you're, like, in a good position, essentially. Because then you have enough room to backstep backwards, and just reset back to that point. Like, take that as your general distance. If he moves towards you, you can just, like, uh, move through him while he's trying to shotgun or something and then get to the other side. What you can also do is you can put your servant on one side and move to the other. He's getting too close to you, just TP to your servant. Yeah. Bro, you smart. It's like you've done this boss before, Pringles. Yeah, servant is busted. Yeah, I use it a lot here. That, hey, no that's way. really natural to use it. Yeah. But honestly, aside from double bombs, you shouldn't really be dying here. Like, the rest just doesn't do enough damage to... Uh, hey, no. ...to kill you. <laughs> now hold up. No, I mean, oh, oh, Nightwalker oh, 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 has oh, oh. overheal, right? So... Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, yeah. The shotguns are easily backstepable. We and did then it. the rest you just out heal. Ooh, we did Whoa! Yeah. Let's One go. Life. Take the screenshot! Take the fucking screenshot! <laughs> One life! <laughs> left, left. Oh. Right. Oh, that, that's dead again, the middle, honestly. Uh. Can't come all the way up. See, a okay. Oh. Why? Her on ins. <laughs> Someone got chunked. Right. Two. No, it just happened. Three. Uh, okay. Pick. Two. Three. Four. Pick. Two. Three. Four. Oh, he's aggroed on me, I think. Oh, four. Suck. Oh, Come left. Hit. Come left. Suga. Pick. Two. Sorry. Three. Four. It's okay. Eight, two, three, four. Pick, two, three, four. That one. Pick, two, three, four. Oh, super. Eight, super. two, three, four. Maybe not already, but we did it. Hey. All right, it's Sunday, the thirty, thirtieth of July. I might actually run Black Mage tomorrow to get the July clear in. Not 100% sure yet if that's really going to happen, but today, you know, as the sunny Sunday, 
we have a 5, 10, 15 event. And one thing that was bothering me in the last, you know, 5, 10, 15, aka, you know, it was Shining Star Force, is that we didn't finish the Dreamy Belt. And I, you know, by finish, I mean finish, finish. So, <laughs> either this guy goes up to 22 or it booms. I don't want to have a pitched boss item in my inventory here that you know just looks at me and I'm wondering what I should do about it. I want answers and I want them today. So let's hope it's not gonna extract the whole 30 billion mesos from us that we were able to farm since shining. <sighs> Alright, so let's check it out. Alright, that was quite quick. It didn't extract a lot of money from us, and that's exactly what we wanted, right? Alright, I mean, honestly, we are so far away from ever wearing this item, it's, it's completely meaningless. I'm just glad it didn't took all our money. In the same way, we could try to upgrade Daybreak Pendant. Just because we might actually use this in the future. <laughs> Same actually for the stellar earrings. We might, might, might use this in the future. Although, I'm not sure. The, the odds are much higher that we end up using uh, a daybreak pendant. I mean, I might as well try to, to get this done, right? We have, we have the money and, huh. I guess, I can still... Oh no, let's, let's just star catch the 22, no 19 to 20 star and that's it. This item isn't as rare and I don't want to star catch everything. So. Oh wait, I want to safeguard this though. Alright, here we go. And I think, you know, I'll just spend like 5 billion and if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. <laughs> it's the same with this item. No, no we can't 21. All right, let's restore it. All right, I said I'm gonna stop when these take 5 billion from me and that's what they took. And you know, one spare, deleting one spare from the inventory is all, you know, all good with me. I have uh, one more thing in my inventory and that are the threats of, of wings of fate actually. I rolled these a bunch and, you know, I found this flame, which is good enough, I guess, right? It's like 6 and... it's like 36, right? And I really wonder what happens to these if they blow up. If Tango will give me a new pair or how how it works, to be honest. So that's honestly what I'm, what I'm gonna do. And I wanna know if I can keep the flame when I boom it or if the flame is just straight up gone. So, let us just boom this for fun, I guess. <laughs> um, the, the reason why I have the, you know, Wings of Fate to begin with is that I think I want to do some fight farm testing in the future. And you can get one second of cooldown reduction from this if you use the cor uh, correct character setup, which I can show you here in a minute. Yeah, uh, if you go to Threads of Fate, you can see I have these three characters equipped. And together they give cooldown reduction. You can check this by equipping the cape itself. So here we go. Now you can see skill cooldown reduction minus zero seconds. This is minus zero and it goes up to minus one, right? And But it's minus zero because I'm not friends enough with... Uh, Izuna and Yorozu yet because I you know did this recently and how I'm gonna go about this I'm just gonna talk to them but daily I know that you know it's one option which gives a little bit more friendship or closeness but to be honest whatever I'm not in a rush right and then you know next week I can just gift them up again and then you know they'll be above oh wait this was already enough for one second of skill on. 
We, I mean, we always have Tango at 100 because this is my uh, herbs guy, right? So I guess one 150 is enough or maybe a little more to get the minus one seconds. All right, good to know. Anyways, you know, now I can bite farm with a little less cooldown on Shadow Bite if I want to, right? Um, I think I didn't go over the, my plans yet in detail when it comes to this item. But yeah, I just want to uh, test uh, cooldown bite farming again. I did one test with the Discord together to get some uh, numbers. But I. Before I start rolling my head, which is currently minus two seconds, I want to test, you know, just minus one second, minus two seconds together with minus three seconds. And then I would love to test minus four and minus five seconds just for hold down farming. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now I want to see this, uh, this cape boom, <laughs> to be honest. So let's see if it actually does boom. And, you know, I... The thing is, what, what I'm wondering about is here is, will Tengu only give me a cape if I, you know, drop the spare from my inventory? All right, here we go. That wasn't too bad. Or will Tengu even give me a spare now? So let's go to Mushroom Shine to figure this out. This seems like the weirdest thing to do in this game, to be honest. Star forcing the wings of fate, but... To be honest, I star force my Mezzo gear and I would potentially also star force these up because it, yeah, it's not so expensive. Yeah, we, we get infinite spares. Huh, that's quite interesting, right? So, anyways, I think I wouldn't really. I don't know. Hmm. Would I upgrade these then? Huh, I'm, I'm like really wondering. I might actually. I might actually upgrade these. Like, I mean, all the way to 22 with legendary potential in the future. Simply for the fact that... In a new age, we can enhance Shadow Bite to be even less cooldown. And you can have it that it is activated every wave spawn. Oh my god, I, I should have uh, maybe star card that one. But anyways, and I think having the minus one on the wings might actually be helping with that a little bit. You know, as you max out the skill, this is the uh, one thing that will get you closer to have one activation per wave. So, um, dude, this is so fun that you can just get the spares from Tengu. All right. I'm just gonna, you know, let's try to get these to 19 and then, you know, disregard everything that I said. And then, you know, I get another, I don't know, what is it? Six months until new age to, to think about this. So, uh, all right. There we go, 20. Oh my. I can't. <laughs> What's wrong with me? But I really, really, really want to keep going. <laughs> uh, no, I can't. It's, you know, it's just a waste. So. We can push these further in Shining when it's a little cheaper. Because we, we won't equip this until Shining. So that's a good reasoning to not keep on working on this item. All right, that was a fun 10 billion meso spent. I didn't receive a single arcane Umbra box since Shining Star Force, even though, you know, I did all my weeklies, you know, all, you know, I did Hard Will for the first time last week and I didn't do Hard Darkner yet ever. But, you know, at least from the others, I could have. You know, gotten some spares, which would be nice, right? But, alright. I don't mind too much. <sighs> and yeah, that's basically my update from uh, from Star Forcing. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't touch our gear really at all. And, wait, let me 
check when is chapter two is it is it chapter two no it's not chapter two yet because in chapter two six star one of the mission is to get one item to 22 stars right and i might actually try to get the guardian angel ring to 22 and then you know if it booms it booms but at least i have a single spare somewhere in my inventory there should be oh no there's another daybreak pendant i just saw it Where's my... Ah, there it is. Guardian Angel sent me. And I was like, what is this Kana Ring doing? It should be over there, where the other Kana Rings are. And then, you know, this Guardian Angel Slime Ring, let's put it, like... Yeah. Here. Alright. That, ma that makes much more sense. And, you know, okay, back again to the Daybreak Pendant. I didn't... I didn't see that we had another spare, so... Yeah, let's, let's continue with this item. All right, now it broke. So that's completely fair. I think I'm fine with um, not having to break these items. I can look at... Uh, I can look at broken pitch boss items all I want, that's fine. But having to look at broken dawn set items, I don't know. That's not... What I'm willing to do. <laughs> I don't know, it's so arbitrary, I know, but... Yeah. We need to prepare for the Black Mage battle, right? So, we need to actually get a key. And I needed to ask this, but apparently you get the key... Here? Uh, let me fuse, blah blah blah. Yes, alright. So, one... Shadow of Anali... Un <laughs> oh my god, no, this is impossible for me to pronounce. And 50 sparks makes one entry ticket for the Black Mage. Boom, there we go. So now we have that. So we could enter. But there's another thing that I want to prepare. And for some people this is going to be very wasteful, but... I've decided that I want to do this. So... We are gonna claim a black heart. We only have two, right? Since we started this account, so this is nowhere near sustainable. But the first clear might be the most important one because we are clearing on the last day of July. Or at least we are trying to clear, right? So, and either we clear tomorrow or we don't. And we don't clear for July and delay our whole journey by one month, right? I know I could have started the black mage journey like two or three months ago i know that right so me wanting to get this done in july might be a little weird right but now that i've tasted the blood <laughs> of the black mage i want to slay him in july and we will see if that's possible or not. And, you know, I'm willing to give uh, everything in order to make that happen. Like I said already, unfortunately, we couldn't get the jet transfer in time. And, you know, now it's just completely disabled. But we can get the black heart. And it's a damage improvement, not by a lot. And we will be zero pitched items. Oh man, but it's somewhat of an improvement, right? And it's 30 ID and 30 boss also. Yeah. That is... Oh wait, it has 15 stars, so it's a little better even than what was on the preview. <sighs> I think this will be an okay decision to make. And we can't take it back, no matter what, right? So... <laughs> A lot of weird decisions in this episode, to be honest. <laughs> Wings of Fate at 19 stars. We just got the black heart. Yeah. But like I said, don't don't take this as a guide or anything. I just play how I, how I, you know, end up enjoying the game. Because otherwise, I would be burning out. <sighs> Well, this is pretty cool, I have to say, having this. 
in the future my plan is to have enough lotus bossing mules in order to sustain black hearts but i know that that's not really feasible may or maybe it is feasible i actually i don't know right but my plan is to have five bossing mules that clear up to hard lotus so one would be thunderbreaker wind archer blaze wizard dawn warrior and our new age hyperburn mihail and then you know maybe we could sustain black hearts a little better we will see we will see right anyways that does it for sunday you know if you pay attention to the xp bar <laughs> I, I run it a lot oh man this week is this week is kind of killing me um i hope i don't burn out from grinding but so far so good and i know i only have to do it until tuesday evening and then on wednesday we're gonna phase over into the next event and then haste is gonna be over that's all right that's all right and i don't you know i have two more days right and i have work also so i think i hope that i don't burn out from grinding <laughs> all right let's put it like that i guess i see you tomorrow in black mage we all right everybody today is the day where i will try to clear the black mage with my party first off we're gonna you know have one round of practice and afterwards we're gonna see if it's going to be possible for us to clear or not and that i'm pretty sure we just give it one attempt because it's the 31st of july and that's it if we die out we die out if somebody dies out they die out and we won't rerun i think it seems like that i hope to just stay focused here and pull through to be honest so let's just you know check the gear again do i have my damage rings on yes i do rest of the damage equipment is also here arcane set 19 rest set 22 for the hyper sets i choose to put a lot of points into arcane force here since we have the tasty skill that gives us arcane power we can reach 1.1 times damage on the black mage which uh, we are gonna make use of here rest in boss damage id damage crit damage we are at 51k stat here a little lower than usually because in this case we or i am running a super safe super 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 safe link skill setup we have the warrior link skill we have the new kali link skill we have the shade link skill i think wait do we have the shade link skill or did i opt to not use that one no we don't have the that one but you know two more defensive link skills so you know this one of these could have been the xenon skill so plus that's gonna be a little lower wait yeah yeah there we go we have a maple warrior casted and then you know i'm gonna activate the luck pill soon here soon anyways you know it's been a while but i'm gonna get a uh, candied apple here just to really use everything that is available to me i usually don't bother with these anymore because they are only a very very minor improvement uh, i'm not sure if i can teleport di directly to the correct map here but oh yeah it's the, it's the other the map to the right that i wanted to go to and here if you haven't seen this one here's a vendor and he sells candied apples which give seven all that wow <laughs> and and the bad thing about them they have a time time limit attached to them so yeah the, you know the time li limit is the is the factor why i don't usually have these in my inventory because you know they just expire and then i don't remember to pick them up again anyways i'm gonna continue with the practice and then i guess we're gonna go into the real deal we'll see
Let's go. It is fine. It is fine. Don't. Don't. Like so. Try to... Yeah, it's a fucking power bar presentation. Oh, yes, nice. No way. Did you? The power of Nightwalker combined with Night Lord Burst always lags. I'm never lagging solo. I never lag. <laughs> Oh, who is the best thing? Uh, I think Nightlord Burst lasts a bit longer. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, that was the worst. Damage reduction barrier on the right. Spikes. Yeah, spikes. I think, I don't know. Frames are dying. Yep. Please give from mirrors if you can. Spikes. 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 Some rolling nice. should be soon. Lights from the right. Oh boy, rolling. Yeah, it's good pattern. Purple. Oh, spikes. Uh, middle. Yep. Ooh. How did I survive? Oh, door. Yeah. Okay, the next right. first to get spikes. spikes. Right. Right. And right. Spikes. Puppets. Spikes. Okay, it's fine. So, if you make sure you can get Spikes. Left, 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 left. Left, left, left side. Is it burst yet? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I can uh, uh, start charging. Uh, we will face them after burst. Fights. Charged. Let's go, boys. Oh, nice. It's like 12 lives and it's free, free right? <laughs> yep. Uh, maybe if I play less greedy. <laughs> I'll go to the right side. Right side. Run. Rollings. Don't forget them. Hmm. Pick two, three, four. Two, three, four. Kick and coming. So, kick two, three, four. Kick two, three, four. Kick two, three, four. A little bit to the right is the damage protection barrier. Yeah, 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 let's go. I mean, there's rollings anyway, so he will come a bit there. Don't come a bit more. Yeah, this is better. Pick two. Why is it going to go away? Pick two, three, four. Pick platform above us. Three, four. Pick two, three. Up, up. Step on. Make sure you don't get the pushes. Pick. 
Incoming supers, pick two, three, four, pick two, a bit three, to the left. Four. That is fine. Pick, pick two. I mean, next one. Okay, next supers, pick two. Three, four, up, up, up. Like Watch out for kick. Half of this reverse, jump in the fuse. And yeah. 15 oh. seconds still to main. Oh yeah, that's fine. Kick, two, three, four. Rolling. Two, three, four. Kick, two, three, four. Kick, two, three, four. Charging four. at the moment. Yep, sorry. Pick two, three, four. It's charged. Nice. Okay, my door didn't pull full. I shot them this time, but let me kick two, three, <laughs> four. Love you, kick. Pick. Two, three, four. Close, Pick two, three, four. Up, 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 up. up, up, up. Be aware of the kick. God damn it. Two, three, four. Suck. So kick after. Pick two, three, four. Pick two, three, four. I'm in the Two, three, four. Pro rolling. Two, three, four. White as well. This is scary. Uh, just wait for the kick. Suck. Kick after. Pick. Two, three, four. Pick. Two, three, four. Pick. Two, three, four. Pick. Two, three, four. Pick two, three, four. Pick two, three, four. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pick up the Pick two, Rolling. three, four. Platform there. Pick two, three, four. Up, 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 up. Oh, we enjoyed so much up at the main. I like this one. Okay. Uh, Pick two, I like down at the four. Yeah, you have dark side, dude. First, <laughs> <laughs> use the first one. Watch the kick. Wait for it. Wait for it. One day. Suck. Pick two, three, four. Pick two. And three. white from left. Rollings yeah. and white. Four. Where's the kick? Kick two, three, four. Kick, yeah, suck, 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 kick after. Kick two, three, four. Kick two, three, four. Kick two, three, four. Up, up, up. up. Watch kick, kick oh. two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, we're both, right? Uh, yeah. You can text. Yep. Okay, gonna phase it in the burst. Two, three, four. Pick. Two, three, four. Pick. Two, three, four. Pick. Two, three, four. Yeah, I'm using half of those too. Make these all my burst. Okay. GG! Oh. Let's go!
Okay. Is black aura. aura behind you. Black aura. Black aura behind you. Not a white circle, a black circle behind you. <laughs> but white is my favorite color. Racist. <laughs> No, you should do more damage with the well white aura. Mm. Now we wait three minutes for my burst. <laughs> wait. Oh, it's going great. Bug. <laughs> Just wondering, did everyone start the liberation quest? Yes. Oh, well. mm -hmm. At least I did. I did. <laughs> I, I didn't, but yeah, I'm not liberating, so. Uh, after next step, maybe we can let it. 30 seconds. Uh, are we waiting for the Kana charging? For burst? Uh, no, you are to do whatever you want. That okay. doesn't matter. Okay. Even, this, uh, yeah. even in if it does charge. <laughs> in phase 4, you can't buff each other anymore. Yeah. So you just burst of cooldown, whatever your class does. We can only heal each other with familiars and people. What is it? Ah, okay. We are good. <laughs> Alright. Everybody ready? Yes. yes. You have to use basic attack, by the way. I have to? Yes. Wow. <laughs> down, I didn't know. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I took a small break. Very small break. And I just, you know, stood up for one minute and, <laughs> and that was it, basically. And now we have to do the quest or like we have to do the quest. We have to like do the next part of the quest. And I have no idea what we're doing now, so... Um, see all levels? Alright, there we go. <laughs> I, I, had a, oh, I had a small shock right there, but okay. Uh, is this... Alright, let's go to the conference pavilion. I see you've defeated the black mages after image. Wait, we didn't even defeat the real deal? What? The alpha image? Well, I guess now it's really too late for me to care for the story. <laughs> I thought we would fight the real deal here. I guess extreme black mage is the real deal or... Or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, really appreciate Grendel the really old being part of the story. What an OG character. And I gave you the sealed weapon genesis. The sealed genesis weapon box.
Okay, did one quick smagger there, and now let's open the sealed Genesis guards. Damn. Sealed Genesis guards. Does, does this come with an effect? You cannot change your equipment on this map, alright. Uh, then we're gonna leave, yeah, but she wants to talk to us, so blah blah blah. So this, yeah, and you must defeat the after image of Hard Van Leon. And that's what we're gonna do here in a moment. Okay, anyways, can we equip this? Do you really wish to reset your soul gauge? Yes, I wish to. Does this come with an effect? I'm wondering. No, it doesn't come with the effect. Alright, so I've looked this up on how to actually do this. And you need to unequip all your items. Maybe not the symbols, I'm not 100% sure right now. But I just unequip the symbols as well. And you can only have your Genesis weapon and the secondary equip. So this should do it now. Uh, if we click on hard. Ah, uh, yes. It, it will pop up. Okay, defeat alone. Okay, only have the Genesis weapon and secondary equipped. We have that. Alright, let's start the mission and just try it out, I guess. So let's buff up completely here. Oh, he's, he's a tanky boy. I'm not using my familiars. But that's fine. Dude, my stun is long. Alright. He wants a break, so he gets a break. Let's switch into the correct familiar set here. Wait, don't start eating your mobs. That would be a disaster. Alright. He's casting... Nope. Blink, Blink and Van Leon, never <laughs> before seen tech. Oh, he stunned me. Oh no. Let's not die. And that should do the trick here. Van Leon, one out of one. Van Leon, one out of one. And daily boss, three out of three. And talk to Grendel, alright. More cutscenes. Which is alright in this case because you know this quest improves damage. And that's what really counts. Alright, we good we did it. So now I guess we can accept the Defeat Hard Black Mage after image and bring me Black Mage's remnant. Okay, so it's still Monday. I've picked up the grind again. And yeah, I think it's time to talk about the Black Mage run and the whole situation, right? So if you've noticed, that was quite a quick run, right? And what had happened was that we started to practice. And as, you know, we got further and further into the month, uh, I think two people didn't really believe that we had it in us as a party to clear. And they said, all right, we, re we really want to clear this month. So they left and ran with another party. But that didn't really discourage me or the party lead either. So we just, you know, kept on practicing and invited, you know, people to participate. And as we got more practice, we got more confident within the fight, right? And we really felt like, all right, you know, we... We practiced, put in our fair share, right? And I think we also deserve to to clear this month. So the party leader asked around if, you know, somebody wanted to join for a real run. And to be honest, like really strong people uh, got back to us and said, yeah, right, let's, let's clear together this month. And I appreciate it, right? But that's also why the run was so quick. Because obviously, you know, strong people make the run super quick. 
I haven't even looked at the footage yet, but I, I, I felt it. Especially that P4 was done so quickly. But that doesn't take away from my achievement, to be honest, because I did put in the work and I did put in the time to, to practice this fight out. So I'm still satisfied with myself and I think tomorrow it's gonna be back to the normal party running. I like, <laughs> I know, I know, but uh, no hard feelings. So it's Tuesday now, the end of the week. At least when it comes to maple sort of weeks. <laughs> we are gonna start this... Wait, no. Sorry, my brain is already turning into a, a slushy. <laughs> oh my god, let me start again. We are ending this week similar to how we started it. With a level up. I used this haste week to grind, grind, grind. Like a madman, right? So, you know, you can see I'm... Yeah, really just grinding the whole day long, to be honest, so... Uh, but we are soon to be done, and I'm super relieved. I want to, you know, take the time until we actually level up here to talk about the pet that is jumping off here. Um, for all the bite farmers or, you know, other classes that don't really move around, while farming, you can make use of this pet jump off trick. So, for example, I could think of Wind Archer who can lazy grind without moving around. They, you know, you can set up your Vag pet to loot parts of the map uh, automatically, basically, without you having to move around at all because the Vag pet will just continuously jump around. I showed this off in an earlier video, but I just wanted to, to show this off again. And you know, this technique is especially, especially effective in, in this map. So if I were to disable the item pouch skill, we can actually walk around here and take a look at the parts that are not looted. So the left part of the map is not looted, all right. But if we check, I, I bite it one more time. So this was all looted. What's not looted is over here, this platform and the right side of this platform. So all this radius here is getting looted. That's, I think roughly like, 40% of the whole map is getting looted and setting up the the pet jump off is like really really easy so if I better to show this to you guys I usually start on the rope in this map because you know there is a rope and then I just walk to, to the right a little bit and you know sometimes it doesn't work on the first try honestly most of the times it doesn't work on the first try for me but here you see, all right, I already did it. So you just approach the ledge and the pet in pet slot number two, if you take a look at this, it needs to be, you know, blocking kind of the, the space that the third pet would be standing in. And this, this is highly dependent on the direction that your character is facing. So I'm facing towards this right ledge and there's not enough base here I would say for the familiar to stand on so it accelerates and just jumps off and it you know continues to do so and now comes you know a Nightwalker specific trick when it comes to this um, because you know first of all why would you even set this up right because sometimes you're like super lazy 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 grinding and not even looting right but usually I am looting so it's not as important for me to to use this trick, right? But you can only attack for like eight minutes or something like that, right? For 100 bite attacks before you you know start not casting bite anymore. So you have to move, and then you would need to reset this up, right? But actually, if you cast Grey Dark Servant, and then you know you can loot like once just for fun, and. Then you can teleport back to your Greater Dark Servant. For example, here I can, you know, use the will skill and then I teleport back. And I am standing in the exact same position. And when I'm lucky, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but you know, when I'm lucky, I can just uh, basically never leave this special spot. Let's put it like that. I just need to step out of range with my Greater Dark Servant activated 
teleport back to it so that the pets actually teleport and not, you know, walk around to me or towards me, right? And then it just works. So, yeah, this is great. Also today, I've been putting the uh, Wings of Fate to use, you know. Um, I was going over this in a previous clip where I showed off that uh, I'm using the skill cooldowns minus one effect here today together with my cooldown hand which is minus two, minus two seconds, we get to minus three seconds, which is also nice. It's just nice to farm, and here we are. This should level us up now. There we go. 279. Kinda big, actually. <laughs> uh, before I forget it, let's distribute our points here. Also the V-Matrix, uh, slot enhancement, boom, and there we go. And yeah, I think... That does it for this episode. We didn't uh, end up running Black Mage again, even though, you know, it's the first of the month. So we could have ran, but um, there's no rush really. Like, we have a whole month, right? So, okay. And with all of that out of the way, I wish you had a lot of fun watching this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.